all right uh good morning everyone i hope that we are doing well um welcome to today's stand up it's already day two um it's already day two of week 12 and you know i hope that we are also progressing well generally but let's get started let's get started quickly and hear it from you we are not going to do presentations today we are going to do normal stand up um you tell us how was yesterday and also any blockers or challenge that you want us to discuss about like even any point of discussion you want to raise we can go ahead anyone who wants to go first Yeah, sure. All right, Ahmed. Hello, good morning, everyone. Yeah, good morning. Uh, okay, uh, for me, uh, yesterday, uh, I faced some uh, electricity issue, and this morning also, so I couldn't do too much. I was reading about uh, image segmentation. So that is all for me. For question, uh, I would prefer if uh, anyone of uh, the total or team in, uh, or, uh, or the team can uh, simplify the, the concept or the, the goal idea of uh, the project. So I feel like I missed something yesterday. Okay, all right, Ahmed. And uh, anything you want us to discuss about? Any points, any challenge? Uh, I don't think I have uh, something to discuss about. Uh, thank you. Keep, um, keep it up on your side. Let's go ahead and hear from Abraham. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, about my progress, uh, I'm still trying to grab the overall idea of the project or this week's challenge. I'm getting like an NOA building a storyboard, a, a story uh, board uh, for Adulido, but uh, yeah, like uh, it's actually a question, so that's like, uh, what would look like that the end product of uh, our solution is it like a solution is it like an interface that we could create uh, an ad from a critic uh, from a text from 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 our query from our question and uh, uh yeah mm -hmm. uh, i mean like uh it's, it's actually a question if the tutors are here like will it be like uh a product that we, that we can create storyboards uh, from, like, and uh, uh, what are the models that we can uh, use, or what kind of like uh, CV or computer vision models that would be uh, provided for us, or like, if there is, uh, I have a lot of questions. I don't know, like how to uh, distill them, but like, uh, what. Uh, yeah, just let's, let's, let's use the response for this question and then let's um, Okay, so regarding like uh, what kind of models or what kind of uh, tools to use, uh, have you went through the document? Like uh, there are many um, references and examples that are provided. Um, like, uh, have you have you went through the document? Have you understood like uh, uh, the the main tasks? Uh, yes, yes, I'm trying to understand. Uh, uh, I was looking at the documents, and there are mm -hmm. plenty of 
uh, models, yes. such as uh, Jasri, uh, Dale model, Open AIs, and uh, if there are specific models that you guys want us to use, I'd be curious. There are many, uh, like several, um, uh, let's say, like um, there are quite a number of, of models that you can basically try for different things. So there are like um, deep learning or machine learning models for uh, for computer vision and like uh, also generative uh, models that you can use. So basically, you need to explore and understand which uh, like which to use for which part, basically. So, I mean, um, I, I'm not, maybe I'm not quite getting what is your exact question, like, um, yeah, from like this Which chart. specific models are, like, for example, uh, some of them are paid, like they're not free, like okay. valid or, uh, or like, which models do you recommend us to use? Okay, so of course there are like if there are models that are paid and you cannot access, of course, this then then you cannot use. This is just like uh, I think um, like um, easy to understand that, but um, like uh, many of them are like, and then you are also going to be getting an um, access to an instance, so like uh, for like computing basically um computing powers uh yeah regarding that also let me just say this now that we you need to fill the form for of whether you want to work um individually or in a group today so that like it can be like it's in the let me just po like post this here and please fill the form like um can create your own group if you want up to five people in each this is going to give you an instance okay so i'm uh, going back to your question abraham um uh okay um again i'm not quite like um uh, okay just one more excuse me one moment Okay, uh, if you don't have permission to let me let me fix that to um, let me see if I can fix this at this moment. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you can you move uh, to maybe I will get back to you to Abraham question. Can you move ahead and um just um yeah I'm I'm I'm, I'm sorry I have to step away for a for a moment.
uh, also another question and uh, you guys shared us it take assets like about uh, those assets and uh, and like the, the yeah the Arugus data and what kind of uh ed or exploratory data analysis that we should do yeah. so like uh, most of the data are JSON, and uh, uh, what do you expect us to do with those data? Like, is it to understand it or like do some, I don't know, chat? Like, what kind of ED? All right, so um, as we wait for MTNA to look into it, so we can be progressing for now. Yeah. Um, uh, let's have more people. How was yesterday? And also any blockers or challenge you want us to discuss about? Uh, also, of course, if there are no challenges, then we do no more support. So no more reports. Anyone, you can raise your hands. Okay, I just so go ahead. Good morning. Uh, yeah, yesterday uh, I was focusing on uh, reading the documents, uh, trying to understand what uh, we are going to do, and I was discussing with uh, other trainees also. Uh, I don't have any local still now. Uh, my question is: uh, I thought yesterday I said. We have to work on individual, but the group one, the group is only for the instances, and you are going to give us the group names. If I'm not mistaken, okay. Um, anyone who can help at this? Anyone from the team? Or oh, Adisu, do you mind repeating the question? Okay. Uh, yesterday, I told you, Abdubal said we have to work uh, alone the project. 
but the group is only for the instances. And you are going to give us uh, the group names for only the instance. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm Tina, you here? Yes, um, you're accurate, uh, so that is, that's correct. So you're not, um, you're, you're going to be working individually, but just like if you want to, um, you can co collaborate, uh, of course, but still they are going to submit your work individually. The groups are exactly for the instances, basically. So up to five people in each group, and you can basically fill the form. I think now you should be able to fill it. Um, and uh, yeah, so what uh, what uh, Yavabal said yesterday, your understanding is correct. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead. Anyone else? Yes, Johannes. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, I didn't do much. Uh, I tried, but uh, I was having a hard time trying to focus. So I took a day off and started working on the project this morning. And I went to the challenge document and the reference link that was provided. I think I understand the overall of the project. The fact that uh, I went through Autogen last week made it easier just to understand the code on the reference linkers. Uh, currently, I'm just waiting until the Ten Academy give us access to the data. So you don't have access yet? Uh, yeah, sorry, don't have you don't have access yet to the, to the data? Yeah, yeah. I okay, think let's... it's all of us. So is this like, um, can other people confirm this part? Okay, uh, okay, I will ask, uh, I will tell that now to fix this. Okay, all right. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay, good morning. Uh, yesterday I was trying to understand the technical document, but uh, uh, I was having a hard time to understand overall the uh, project because uh, one one thing I have, uh, I think what I, I was not able to understand is the, the target. I mean, uh, what I mean is that especially there was a, a folder that was given as a data, but it's just an example. I think the, there was no uh, data that are we that we are going to use for this project like uh, it was showing us an example for the storyboard but there is no maybe an image that we are actually gonna use it for the storyboard for our project so that was that uh, I missed that part and also if someone could uh, uh, summarize for me what the target is because I was uh, I'm, I'm a little bit confused because I are we are we supposed to create a storyboard by generating image or you are going to give us an image and we use that one to generate uh, use that for the generating uh, uh, a storyboard and also i think maybe i i missed a little part of it yet uh, from yesterday introduction part is it is it uh, and i searched on the youtube but i was not able to find and if it's uploaded maybe that will help me so that is the blocker i have Okay, so um, just to, uh, I think uh, maybe someone also asked the same question before. So um, first uh, about the recording, uh, we will ask Rodis to, to take care of this. Uh, the second thing is that, um, to, so, to, so I understand that you don't have access to the data, all of the data yet, Yabez, but so there are two kinds of, the, or there are three, it's three, three pieces of data or three different kinds of data. You have, um, I don't know if you have managed to see, there is a JSON file that have um, um, text, textual in, in, uh, description of an ad. So it, it has like um, a description of like frame by frame, basically. 
so it will describe like different which which each frame components are like these are in text and then how it is all composed together in a, in in some some kind of a, of a narrative how it works and um uh like uh, i like maybe so this this is one one piece the other the other kind of data you have is assets so these are um uh like uh, images so you will have like logos you will have uh, uh, backgrounds and and different parts like different uh, components of an image of a like you can make a frame out of so these assets which are like um you you the, your part of your task or part of your job uh, for this challenge is to compose these assets into frames and into a storyboard so you are not generating images you are composing images, so you, like uh, you are taking images and then composing them into frame and into a storyboard. You also have, and the third part of the data, you have storyboards. These are ready, so these are examples of storyboards that are already made by uh, by Aldo And then what what you are going to be using them is basically. Uh, let's me in quotations these are learning data so you know from these composed storyboards that like these are good and basically you can show them to your like you because you are going to be using a critic and like a, in task two you are, uh, you are creating a, um basically a critic and then in task three is a, is a image composer so the critic is going to be looking at those these like already ready made storyboards and basically like learning from them and also when you compose storyboards in task three but going to be again using the critic to judge them if they are good or not basically um using the examples as like some kind of a reference of what is a good storyboard does that make sense to you Jabez? is this like the overall idea make sense to you Yes, uh, yes, it is. It is clear now. Uh, uh, when we compose the images on the task, I think three, uh, are we uh, are we using uh, uh, LLMs or how are we going to compose those images? Yes, you are using LLMs to do that. Of course, it is also possible to do this with machine learning models. Just um, basically. You can, uh, this is what uh, uh, Yamabal was explaining yesterday, is that you can actually like perform the whole thing, all of this, without using any generative AI. Actually, we did this challenge before without using any generative AI models. So all these tasks can be done using uh, deep learning and uh, other machine learning models, basically um the part about the critic or the like the one that studies the the image the or the like the storyboard can be you can see like a lot of uh, computer vision models these are deep learning models and they can basically um uh, tell you a lot about the composition of of an image uh, and then in the other part about um composing an image you can basically learn from the examples by like uh, basically training a machine learning model on them and then applying what you learned on 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 the like uh, on the new data so but uh, in both in both in both of the for the critic and for the image composer both sides you can use generative models to do to do this task it's it's like uh, um how to say so it's like it's not um, um what, the, what I would say here is that it is possible to do without it is possible to do with generative models and you basically you can if you experiment a little bit you can see what difference you can get uh, if you want to like really make your life hard, and of course, doing it without generative models is going to be harder. Using generative models is supposed to be easier. So, um, and basically, you are you going to be using the expertise of these models that's the what they already learned 
the knowledge they already learned uh, because these are trained models and it, it should be like um, easier to perform some of these tasks with them. Okay, so did, did I answer the question? Yes, yes, thank you. Okay. Um, Okay, so just one thing before, uh, and uh, so uh, regarding the data, it's um, uh, like the team is saying that you can will get access to the data once you like um, once the instances are up. So this um, uh, this is supposed to happen today. So like um, be patient; it's going to soon. I hope it's going to be happen soon enough that you will get access to the data. Sorry about this. But yeah, okay, we can move on to the next person if there are more questions, otherwise. Um, so, and just uh, also again before the, the question, sorry, Michael. Um, I, uh, do you want to have another uh, a Q and A session? You can tell, yeah, we will to, okay, good. Uh, we'll let you all know, maybe you can arrange a Q&A session as soon as possible, right. Michael? Okay, good morning, everyone. So the, the concept uh, JSON file, so is it related to the the assets, uh, the data, or because it says like the Lego city or the, the, the number of frames in the, the interactive element, the logo, so how are how are we gonna use uh, this? Um, okay, so um, uh, this is like um, let, let's um, I'm, I'm honestly I am not sure. So like this is like I'm sorry, but I, I don't know the answer to this. Uh, from my understanding, it's supposed to have at least some of the assets should be described in the JSON file. But I'm not hundred percent sure, so let's get back to that. Um, maybe you can write this down in Slack so that you can have a reference to this to answer this. So, um, if there are descriptions, like if it's correct that uh, so at least some of the assets are described in the JSON file, then like what I was saying, like applies. Basically, you can use uh, in task two. You're going to be analyzing this text in the JSON file alongside analyzing them. So this is about the storyboard, the ready-made storyboard. If they are described in the JSON file, they're going to be uh, analyzing them um, together, like the text and the images, uh, also for the assets. Otherwise, if we, there are like some kind of a mismatch, because this data is coming from Aldodi, I'm not sure, sure if they, there is a match. Um, or oh, sorry, if there is how much of an overlap is between the JSON file and the assets that are provided. Um, again, let me get back to you about this. Uh, but and so, uh, like, I want you to ask this on Slack so that can I can answer you there. Um, yeah. So I am not hundred percent sure. So if it's not, if there are not overlap or for some of the data is not described in the JSON file or like, let's say, not at all, you can basically drop the part about analyzing the text. And basically, it's going to be just analyzing the images and getting like the, um, the narrative out of a storyboard instead. Does that make sense? Like, at least this part of what I was saying about them. Yeah, OK. So Second question. So, what is the relay, the data in the instance? I, I don't understand. Why don't we get uh, why why can't we get the data? Why 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 are we waiting for the instance? Like maybe you can we can do it in in our local machine, like labeling the data or something like that. Yeah, I don't think that I'm not sure about why. It's not going to you are not going to be getting. I don't think they're getting. To, oh, sorry, I don't know. I don't know the answer to this actually. But I just uh, like this is a. The, the thing that I got from the team, what I relate to you. So I'm not sure. Definitely, like if the data was provided, it could work locally, but I'm not sure what is the issue about that. Um, probably there is some reason. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah. Okay. 
So, any more questions? I think otherwise, like. Uh, Over to you, Pascaline. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Antina. If there are no any other questions, then uh, we can call it a meeting and enjoy the rest of our day. Yeah. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining. Have a great Tuesday. Bye for now.